Okay. Hi. When we were young, very, very young age, we were kids, we used to, we used to dream a lot. We used to think a lot, lots of imagination, thousands and thousands of questions. Like, I want to have a house full of chocolate or ice cream. Or I want to be, I want to be a horse. I want to jump really high or fly. There's, there's a lot of imaginations in our heads. That's, that's a dream, right? But as soon as we get older, somehow, for some reason, these kind of imaginations and dreaming, they stop. Why? Why? Because we've been told that this is not real, or this is just a dream. It, it, you, you can't do it. Or maybe for some reason, someone tried your dreams, and they failed for some reason. And this is exactly where we made our boundaries, where we stopped and we make some borders on our ways. This is when we stop being creative. So stick what we have here and just keep moving. So don't, don't dream, don't think about something new. And actually, if, if we just, let, let's imagine now for now, we are 2,000 years back ago. And I just go there and I have an idea in my brain, I'll tell someone, hey, I'm gonna fly all around the world. I'm gonna fly. And then he will say, what? You're an idiot. Humans can't fly, we don't have wings, right? Birds can fly. <laughs> That's 2,000 years ago maybe, right? But now, eventually we are flying, right? And for some reason people tried, people tried that flying and for sure flying idea came from daydreaming. God knows how many people tried, There's so many people tried. And I don't know how many people died trying, but actually, we are flying now at the end. So daydreaming is a fact. We really should practice it, but in a good way. So when I say a good way, you should really think about like an idea or daydream should really work with your environment. Like if you daydream about something which is really far away from you, for example, you are actually living next to the sea, so your daydream should, should come next to somewhere next to the sea. Or so, like if, if, if you bring an idea works for the mountains, it won't be interested for the people who are next to the sea, right? So try to bring something suitable to in the, the, the environment that you are living on. So don't make something works maybe for Japan, but it doesn't work for Oman. That makes sense, right? And then, it's thoughts, you know, thoughts and then words. And when I say words, either you write these words, you know, these thoughts that came in your head, and then you write them, or you speak with someone that you really trust. Now I'll come back to the thoughts. The brain, actually the brain itself, can produce 50,000 thought a day. That's a huge number, right? Only 10,000 is positive. So all that is negative. So there is a lot of negative thoughts in your brain. This is absolutely normal. This is normal. So you, you, you will come, like you will do this daydream and suddenly there is a, there is a negative thought. So my, my way of removing this negative thoughts is to bring two or three positive thoughts to cover this negative thought. That's one way. Or to bring something in this negative thought to change it to be positive. I know it's very difficult and complicated now, but let's have a look at this picture here. Please just look at this picture, focus here. This is someone falling over the cliff, okay? Let's look at it for five seconds. Okay, let's stop the picture now. Cool. Now you can think about something positive. Maybe two, maybe three. Let's have 10 seconds just to remove this negative thought.
Okay. I guess 80% of you guys couldn't really remove this person falling over the cliff, right? Which is normal, okay? This is normal. It needs some practice to remove these negative thoughts from your brain. But there is 20% here, they managed. So it depends on the person and what's his thoughts, right? How he can handle that. And that needs some practice. And then when I say try to bring something in this negative thought, just to modify it and bring it to the positive thought. So this guy falling over the cliff, right? You can just easily say that after five meters, there is water, a river, and this guy can swim. So here I just modified this negative idea to be positive, and maybe I'm going to use this idea for my future because, you know, it's a, it's a creative idea, so it could work. But here's the thing, you know, there's, it's different from person to person. Sometimes I even struggle. It's very difficult for me to remove these negative thoughts. The last thing I would do, the last thing, no matter what, you know, I, I failed and I can't do much. I just come back to myself, there's nobody there. <sighs> I breathe and I remember that I am still here. I still exist. I made this idea and no matter what, no matter what, I'm going to continue moving forward. I'm going to fix my problems and any negative thought will come, I will remove it. So I'm still here. Remember that you're still breathing. Okay, this is the last option that you can do and it worked. If it didn't work, you need practice. Don't worry, you just need some practice. How we daydream. This is also different from person to person. I personally like to daydream when I'm exercising. I know it's a bit strange, right? But I just noticed that if I'm windsurfing or sailing in a boat or maybe driving for a long distance, so you don't need that much focus to drive very long distance in, in a road that you drove maybe a thousand times, okay? You, you, you don't need that much focus. So I need that bit of focus there. And the other half of me is just flying up there in space. God knows what. But I'm dreaming. And I'm still awake. And I remember when I was a kid in the school, if, if, if that teacher was talking about subject that it's not important for me, not so important for me, I would, I would look at the teacher, he's speaking, and I'm looking at him, but my mind is, is flying, I don't know where. There is an idea there, but the teacher was speaking, and I'm out of control, flying, and then he's, Sultan, oh, hi. So this is actually daydreaming. It could be dangerous sometimes, but try to really manage where you daydream, and... Yeah, try, as I said, bring something that works to your environment and then just keep on going. There is some challenges can come on the way, which is a very big challenge there. And a lot of people failed. A lot of people failed just to continue their daydream, which is failure. Mistakes. You know, we are humans. We can make mistakes. But the bad thing that a lot of them, they give up. I always say, I always say to, to my team, to my friends, every mistake you do is not a mistake. It's just one step ahead. It's a lesson. You learned from this mistake. You didn't fail and that's it. You stopped. No, you failed, right? But you learned from this failure and you keep moving forward. You never fail back. You never fall back, right? Mistakes are one step forward. Okay, you just keep on going, okay? And there is other thing that it's, it's also happening a lot. So people, they do mistakes and then they say, ah, okay, right, I'm, yeah, I did a mistake, it's all right, I'm gonna move forward, right? But I didn't learn from the mistake, so I will keep moving forward to my dreams, right? And then again, this mistake will come back again. It's the same mistake come back again, I looked at it, Okay, yeah, let's go. Keep on going, keep on going. And then for the third time, the same mistake again. So you will feel, eh, that's, that's fine, right? I got used to it. 
So I, I, I can go, it's all right. I can, I can reach my dreams, I will just ignore that and keep on going. It's actually very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous because you ignore the problems, the others will look at your problems. And I have a very good example there. I saw it in the internet that this guy was saying, if you brush your teeth, if, sorry, if you didn't brush your teeth for two days, your nose will tell you you didn't brush your teeth. But if you didn't brush your teeth for a week, your body will get used to it. It's a problem, right? But your body got used to it. Your nose will not tell you. It's fine, right? You, you are fine with it. But if you are inside this room and I didn't brush my teeth, everyone in this room will know that, except me. So it's very easy for me to say what's problem there and what's wrong with her, but it's very difficult for me then to say what's, what's, what's wrong with me. So facing your own problems, solving these problems and keep moving forward is the solution. So uh, yeah, you, you, you really need time. You need to put time limits. It's very important, but if you couldn't, it's not a big problem. As long as you are act, you're, you're acting like you are doing it. So if this daydream needs you to wear a suit, you can wear a suit. Why not? If this daydream needs you to wear board short, you can wear a board short. Why not? So act like you are doing your daydream, step by step, and then it will, it will happen. And you never say, I'm going to make this big, big picture. Like, you, you, for example, you say, I'm going to make the best car in the planet. And you just keep saying, I'm going to make the best car in the planet. It's, it will be very complicated for you. But if you say, I'm going to make the best amazing details, these small details to be perfectly done, to make the best car in the planet. So step by step, you are building to have this huge dream that you had. Okay, so step by step, small details will take you to the final. Okay, and yeah, it's, th this, is, this is my experience. I, I think it's, it's thoughts and then words. Together, they will be your reality. Daydreaming is a fact. And we really, really should practice it in a good way. I think it's time to it. And this is... This is the key of success and being creative. It's time to it and right. Thank you.